we still have PGL coming up. And this time around, we actually already have our guests sitting down. We have Marek, Humanoid, as well as Broxa. So we're gonna have a, we were initially gonna have a little discussion in regards to the jungle and what we can expect when it comes to the changes to the meta. But instead, well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna pivot, because we've been doing that quite a lot today and uh, some things never change. So I'm gonna give you your mic. I'm trying not to trip over my heels, okay? Thank you. Why is this chair so high? Wait, give me a second. All right, there we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to PGL. I'm Jeannie, and we have Humanoid joining us. Congratulations on another win on the board. I'm assuming you are just as ecstatic as Oscar. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm so excited right now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely showing. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm so excited. But I want to talk about... Obviously, when we're talking with Oscar, we talked about the future for him as a player. But I also want to more touch upon the future of Fnatic as an organization. Of course, internationals are always going to be that goal that you have. Is that perfect run for the summer split on your mind as well? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, if, you, if it means perfect round even in playoffs, then I think that's really hard. I think in regular season, you know, there's only a few more games left, so it's possible. But uh, in playoffs, I think it's not really likely to not lose a single game. Okay. Well, let's touch upon playoffs then. Let's touch upon what you think could maybe go wrong. I know it's going to be best of three series, so that brings a whole different element into the game. What is it that concerns you about the playoffs? Uh, I mean, what concerns me is that we just have a bad day on the day, and then... Uh, yeah, just running down. Sometimes it happened to us, so uh, that could happen again. I know Oscar just mentioned in the interview that you guys are making sure not to become complacent, to get ahead of yourselves. Like, is there any way that's showing in like your practice and scrims and how you approach this? Because obviously now, being the number one team, you might be approaching it slightly differently than the last splits. Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm not really complacent because I know we are doing many things wrong. I think everyone knows that, so... A lot of the games that we played, we really ran it down in many ways, even today. So uh, we know that we have so much to learn still, so we are really far away from being actually uh, really good. When you're talking about having a lot of things to learn, what exactly do you think is going to be the biggest contributor to stopping the rest of the team, stopping the old Fnatic from coming back, like Oscar mentioned? What does it mean, so stopping old Fnatic? Stop running it down and just going like... Stop running it down, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> that is fine. So I think it's just uh, it's just RNG. We flip a coin usually in playoffs, and uh, then if it's good, then we run it down. If not, then we play good. You have to, well, not flip a coin tomorrow, because I feel like this time we're looking at a very, very strong Fnatic, and there go, you guys are going up against G2, who has been a little bit shaky. This is a matchup that we've seen time and time again, and G2 is always the favorites, but this time, you guys are going into this matchup as the favorites. Does that add any pressure? Uh, I mean, maybe. Uh, I think we, I think everyone from us take them as like our rivals because we lost to them many times before in the past year. So I think for us, the game against G2 is always like more important and kind of in like an ego battle. Uh, so I think that makes it uh, have more pressure on us. I think when you play for Fnatic, there's always going to be a certain amount of added pressure, yeah, right? Like you, you cannot lose to G2 as a Fnatic player and, and the other way around as well. But I'm also curious as a, as a fan, just seeing how this is going to play out, because I also think for Fnatic, this is like the ultimate test. And if you can actually take down G2, then you're definitely in a good spot going into playoffs. I want to further up, like touch up on something that you mentioned that was the ego, particularly with this being an ego battle. And you're saying, oh, you have a Fnatic player, you can't lose to G2. If you get too in your own head, there is a possibility, of course, of the game not going the way that you want. Any rituals ahead of the game that stops you from doing that? That stops the entire team, actually, from doing that? Um, I mean, I don't really have any rituals. I just kind of watch the game. We, we just kind of laugh at, uh, at the fails of other players in the previous games. I think that's our ritual. And uh, Why is Broxa laughing so much? <laughs> like, is this like a tradition I for think, Fnatic? I think that's what every team does. Like, we just watch the game and then flame all the players. Usually the, the guy that's playing your own role, you just flame him. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. Good. I mean, there has to be some positive of the game quality, not always Flaming being the highest, positive? right? So, so when you're sitting backstage and you're watching, you're like, wow, 
this is my competitor, he's doing that, and it gives you a nice confidence, confidence boost, really. Okay, I, I see where this is going. You're trying to put other people down so that you can keep yourself up. We're league Fair players, what do you expect? Actually, that's a really good point. That's valid. I'll give you that one. No worries. Uh, but I want to talk. I want to flip this conversation from flaming and laughing at other people to uplifting players. This time around, in your own team, when you're looking at players who have done really well this game, is there anyone that you would give Kia player of the game to? This game? Uh, I think either Ivan or Noah. I think they played really well, and uh, Noah had really good team fights, which was what kind of mattered this game. So. Well, AD carries are always going to get the short end of the stick. Uh, it's going to be Razorg, the jungler, uh, gets the Kia player of the game. So congratulations to Raz, even though he's not here. Um, I want to circle back in terms of how this entire regular season has gone. So you guys are 6-0. and You're doing incredibly well. And I want to bring up some of the teams potentially that you were going up against that you thought, OK, these are a worthy opponent and we can lose. But then you came out on top. If you had to name some of these teams, which ones would that be? That we already faced? Uh, I mean, I think the best team that we played against was SK so far. Uh, I think we still are yet to play the, the best teams. Uh, it's G2 and BDS. So I think so far we had it kind of like the easier half or more than half of the split for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, SK was the best. You get to, I mean, in the standings as well, Brox SK is looking pretty good. Yeah, it's one of the teams I'm looking forward to seeing coming into playoffs, right? Because often during regular split and best of ones, we have a, a team or two that surprises us and that does really well. But best of fives are really a different ball game. And I think SK keeping up this form in playoffs would make playoffs very, very exciting when we get to that point. But no one knows what's going to happen. No, but I want to talk about the teams as well towards the bottom of the standings in terms of that you want to pick out and say, OK, these are teams that are currently towards this bottom that I personally didn't expect. I think we already had that conversation around MDK saying coming into this after the winter that they've had, after the struggles that they've had in spring, we were expecting a lot more firepower, a lot more oomph from them, but it feels like that is missing. Yeah, MDK definitely haven't been living up to expectations ever since the winter split, really. I also think Giant X is worth mentioning, because now with Yu Han coming in, with Jackie's playing as well as he is, it, it feels a bit surprising they're not higher up the standings. But Again, it's best of ones and anything can happen. And the split isn't over, so even the bottom teams might have a chance of making a comeback. No, absolutely not, because we still have some games tomorrow, and your game particularly, Fnatic up against G2 in tomorrow's schedule, that is going to be the match of the week. Surprise, I, I mean, I'm not surprised for this one, are you? I'm surprised. Really? <laughs> How come? Because you've seen it like too many times, or are you being sarcastic? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not surprised, yeah. I'm not yeah, surprised. okay, there we go. It's just like a little bit of sarcasm that went over my head. But in terms of the games that you're looking forward to tomorrow, which game would matter the most? I think Rogue against Heretics, this is really do or die here when we're looking at Rogue and the amount of wins they need to secure to make it into playoffs. Yeah, I think Rogue Heretics definitely is, is one that's going to be pretty big. I, uh, Rogue, at this point, will need to show that they do have some firepower and they have what it takes to actually compete with some of these other other teams. I also think the last uh, battle, Vitality, GX, could could be a banger. Uh, both teams have had really great games and really bad games, and it's kind of unpredictable, hard to say how that one is going to play out. And they also really need to pick up some wins. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like GX and Vitality have been unpredictable? Uh, I think GX has been unpredictable. I don't think Vitality has. I think GS has a lot of like weird picks that they play. So you don't really know what to expect. I think they like a lot of the AD mids, uh, like weird AD mids, like Varus mm -hmm. and yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, that one. So maybe they have more stuff prepared for tomorrow as well. Do you have anything prepared for the Varus Kaisa? Maybe Ezreal mid as well, like we've seen that today yes. too? Yes, yes, I have. Do you want to leak? No. no. <laughs> that is not going to happen. Uh, when we're looking at the games for tomorrow, uh, we've highlighted Rogue, you've highlighted Vitality. MDK, again, is also one of those teams that we need to highlight because they are also sitting at one and five. And realistically, with the amount of days left and the amount of games you need to get into playoffs, it, I'm a little worried there too. I definitely think that <laughs> there's a reason to be worried for some of these teams because the pressure is on and, you know, getting to playoffs now is one thing, but you know, actually qualifying for, for season finals for one of these teams is a, is a whole other big of worry. Uh, but at the moment, like, I think the standings from a skill level of what we've seen so far, point of view, 
seems to be pretty, pretty true. Like we have some clear top teams, and then yeah, Fnatic down. six and oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, wow. that's the thing. And then <laughs> you must have a really good mid laner. After the top four, it feels like that's just everyone else where anyone can beat anyone, and we have some of those matches tomorrow where they really need to cement themselves as you know middle of the pack rather than bottom teams. Are there any teams that are currently towards the bottom or the middle of the standings that you think these teams can make it into playoffs, they just have to make small changes? I mean, I actually think that GX is pretty good. Uh, we've been screaming them a lot lately, and I think they are way better than they were, especially at the start of this split and in the last split. So I think they for sure can make it and they can play way better than what they showed. I think the question that I then have left is, can Carmine Core make it? Because that is you know, the expectation that at least some of us have had from them considering the roster changes. Well, we do need to keep in mind that first of all, a lot of teams are able to make it to playoffs now. It's, I don't want to say it's hard not to make it, but it's definitely harder than it was in the past. And I think Carmen Cope, while not having like the greatest flame? score line. No, definitely not, I don't claim. Um, <laughs> despite not having the greatest score line, they have shown some improvements from, from the last couple of splits, I feel like. I think they're more flexible uh, with Kana coming into the team. I think Closer has had moments where he looked really good in the early game. But it's more so about them, you know, putting some band-aids on, the, on their weaknesses and playing more towards those strains. All right, something to look forward to then tomorrow. Because we're going to be back again, same time, same place. So make sure that you tune in. But that's it from us from today. So I hope you guys have an incredible rest of your evening. And we'll see you tomorrow. Wrong side of Adam's blade as he slices in, dices forward. Finn, Wait. oh, what? We can end top by the come top, come top, we end top. Go, go, go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Kaisa to flash. Nice. Wow, this wow. is this key. Ah. Oh, ah. Ah. oh, nice. Ah. Oh, key. Oh. Can, can, can. Guys, why so nice. easy on stage? Why? Nice. Why? Nice. Good. But it looks like they may try and set up a dive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Because the attack already proc. Jackie's taking his time. W. Oh. 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 Okay, I will pull the trick. Okay, I, I, go, 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 go. I will flash ulti on Senna. I just ulti the stuff can. Look. Okay, they will flash. Kick the gate. Okay, okay, kick the gate. Oh, look, Kaiza. I want Kaiza. Kaiza under fresh. Kaiza under fresh. Oh, Oh. I got full team one second. Look, 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 Edrel. Oh, yeah. Nice. Let's go, guys. Good job. Well played. But right now, you can see the Broken Blade does not care. Whenever his passive is up, he just walks in, oh. does a ton of work, the flash! He does it early! The Bandito slogan! No! I can hold them now. Yeah, just do it, just do it. Look, look at Leona. Go on, Leona. Yeah, go on, Leona. Go on, Leona. Go on, Leona. No flash, no flash. Oh, top, 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 top. Wave, yeah. top, wave. Yeah. yeah. Zeri doesn't need to see the bush to start autoing, but a nice sidestep from Mirwin, trying to dodge. Dipping, ducking, diving, flashing it, Nokia oh. Mono! Hits him with the tired Teemo! Poppy has pressure, I can stand Poppy. Poppy no, uh. you can end big Poppy. Nice one, boys. Nice. nice.